Welcome to the second episode of Is It Worth It? As you may have noticed, we did take a break a long while before the world decided to shit its pants, but you can rest easy, we're back now, and what better to bring us back onto the internet than a video on a mouse. <laughs> now, I know it sounds, but before you go running off to Linus or anyone else who seems more qualified to talk about this sort of thing, bear with me, because I'm gonna get through this quicker than you can say Corona. Not the C word then. <laughs> no matter what kind of mouse user you are, the belongs in a museum, the avocado on toast, and the wicker. I guarantee that if you're producing any kind of content, particularly video, integrating this mouse into your workflow, it's gonna change your life. Now the mouse is the MX Master from Logitech. Now if you're used to any kind of normal mouse with just a left and right click, maybe a cheeky back button if you're lucky, you're gonna be spoiled for choice with the wealth of shortcuts you can set up on this bad boy. Each of these buttons is individually programmable within Logitech Options, which is a companion software for the mouse. You can set up shortcuts that are system-wide or they are app by app specific. There are a ton of default shortcuts, but if you can't find one that's for your liking, the keystroke assignment tool will allow you to set up any custom shortcut with an application that you fancy. One of the ones we find ourselves using the most often is the Control S, because who doesn't forget to save their project once in a while? On this mouse here, we've got this cheeky little button here. It sits perfectly on your thumb, and you'll find yourself saving stuff without even realizing you're doing it. Speaking of the thumb button, you'll find that your thumb sits perfectly in the groove on this little mouse, thanks to its really well-designed ergonomics. Now, I've used loads and loads of other mouses before for editing, but I can edit for hours with this thing. My personal favorite feature about this mouse is this little bad boy, the scroll wheel. Now, Logitech call their mouse wheel the Smart Speed Adaptive Scroll Wheel. This makes scrolling through long documents and navigating through your editing timeline effortless. You can switch between these two scrolling modes with the click of a button and the sound on the hyper fast one. A feature which I've seen other forums absolutely rave about but we don't tend to use is the ability to connect three devices simultaneously. And as cool as this feature is, I have seen a couple of complaints about the button being on the bottom so it's not as easy to swap between devices, but it's never gonna be as bad as this Apple mouse. Bruh. Another couple of features to mention is, firstly, the dark field laser tracking, which allows you to use it on pretty much anything, including glass, and it's fully rechargeable. Who doesn't want that in a mouse? Right, which finally brings us on to the price. This is actually, I'm not holding it. Now, this one is actually a generation one mouse. There have been two more iterations since this. This came out about five years ago, so now it's only 50 pound on Amazon, making it more than worth it. We love this mouse so much that every computer in our studio has one. What about you? Let us know in the comments down below what you think, if you've got any experience with this mouse, which you'll love to find out. Um, that's all from us. See you next time.